ICAPE Capital almost doubling this morning. This after it announced it will be taking protein sequencing company Quantum SI public. It's a $1.46 billion deal in total. Joining us now is the founder and chairman of Quantum SI. He's Dr. Jonathan Rothberg. It's great to have you back, uh, Jonathan. Um, proteomics is what we're talking about here. And you make some pretty significant claims, just even talking about your company and its overview here, uh, saying that your semiconductor chip has the power to decode the molecules of life uh, and expand the scale of genomics and proteomics beyond that of next generation DNA sequencing. Explain to our viewers what that means. Well, uh, David, I've been lucky enough to have been at the uh, start of genomics where we made the first machines that decoded DNA rapidly, and we decoded Jim Watson's genome and the Neanderthal genome. And that was based on moving DNA sequencing, decoding the ACGT letters that are the molecules of life on a chip. And so I thought it was fitting that I would bring the band back together and my team would decode instead of DNA, which tells you what may happen in your life. Instead, we would decode proteins, which tells you what is happening. And we would take the same approach. As you know, David, after I put DNA sequencing on a chip at ION, now part of Thermo Fisher, I put an ultrasound on a chip. So I was very familiar with the advantages of semiconductors. And so I put together a team this time to decode the 20 letters that are made in proteins. So the diagnostic world is mostly proteins. We do DNA sequencing because it's hard or impossible to do protein sequencing in a convenient way. Um this is tending towards, again, moving towards more personalized medicine, I guess. Who do you eventually sell your product to? I know you are a ways from commercialization, but the product that you are then going to be actually encapsulating all this technology in, is that going to be sold to large labs? It is, David. It's the same people we sold Ion to, that Illumina sold into. So we've sold to these same customers at least three times before. But now we're giving them a solution that gives them an answer in a digital format for something that was analog. Traditionally, protein diagnostics had been with antibodies. And now, just like DNA digitized cancer diagnostics, the next generation of immunodiagnostics and research for immunology and complex diseases will be based on getting more protein information in a digital format so you can apply artificial intelligence, deep learning, and make correlations. So our first customers are research labs, and then those research labs will create content that will allow them to do diagnostics first in CLIA laboratories. So it goes research, create content to diagnostics. And we like that because we did that playbook at ION, where we gave machines to people to do research into cancer, and then it became the standard of care for cancer diagnostics. Now we're going back to those researchers, giving them machines, and when they want to study, for example, what happens to the immune system in long COVID? Huge problem. Now we'll give them our quantum SI machine to understand that problem. They'll identify markers that will allow people to follow the progression of the disease, treat the disease, right. understand the disease. And other groups, CLIA lab laboratories, will create diagnostics based on that knowledge. So we've done this playbook before. Understood. I've done, put it on the chip playbook three times before, and we've done the research tool, content to powerful diagnostic playbook twice before. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.